So you do ombre powder brows, you do lips, you do areolas, three yeah. 3D areola work. Um, and, and, and am I correct that you actually do tattoos? Yeah, I do that too. You do tattoos. But you know what I did not see in your portfolio? What, the Scout Micro? I do that no, also. No, I didn't, no, 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 I don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing eyeliner, Moses. Oh, I look, I've done it, but I don't. Dude, what? I, I know you're, you're yourself. the, you're the, you're the, you're the, like, take a risk, you know, put it all out there. You Here's just need to deal. do it. And, and let me and, ask you this. What? If, if you're doing eyeliner and you had a lady open her eyes while you did it, would that scare the heck out of you? Because it scared me. Dude. It scared me to never do it again. I was like, uh, she was like, I'm sorry. I thought oh, you were come on. Get my eyes. Oh, come on. Don't be a pussy now. Put your big girl panties on. <laughs> I have done over 7,000 eyeliners. I, I, eyeliner's my jam. So, yeah, you just got to control the eyelid. When it comes to eyeliners, right? Because I think eyeliner is the second most requested procedure. Like, artists not doing yeah. eyeliners are missing out, missing out on first and foremost a fabulous service that helps, that really can enhance uh, someone's face, someone's eyes, someone's look, their self-esteem, how they feel about themselves. And it generates a lot of income. But 90% of the industry, they're, they're focused on, you know, they, they do mostly eyebrows. I do like that you're diverse where you are doing areolas, you are doing lips, you do tattoos. But, I'm gonna have to go take a training with you or something. Yeah. I'm telling you, like I've done it, and uh, that freaked me out. I you just gotta anybody. learn. You just there's just a few <laughs> key points about eyeliner that you have to learn um, that will make you feel a lot more comfortable. And, it, and with eyeliner, it's all about being in control, controlling the movement of the lid, being in a hundred percent control, hundred percent precision, and. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it probably took me about 50 eyeliners to get really comfortable. Now I'm well over 7,000. Let me ask you this. So is it more about depth? Is it actually, is that the biggest thing? Like, or if you go just a tad bit too deep, are you already like, all right, now it's going to start swelling up? Or, do, or, or is it like some clients swell up more no, than others? Yeah. So, so you know how there's a lot of misconception and a lot of untruths out there, right? And right now our industry, um, a lot of people in the industry... They feel the procedure should look uh, like it's healed when they leave the studio. It should look, there should be no pink, no swelling, no, you shouldn't get any bleeding. And that's just a bunch of like bull crap because they're, they're, they're tattooing really superficial. But I use, you know, I use a five shader. I go proper depth. My eyeliners last right about four or five years. I go proper depth. Some clients you know, hardly swell at all. And maybe just a tiny little bit of puffy, little bit of pinkness. Um, and then you have some clients that, that do get a little, a little, little swollen. And then maybe 5% of my clients will get, wow. I mean, they just get really darn swollen and they can even get a little bit of bruising. So that's, that's more on the rare side to see like big swelling and even some bruising. But if, but if you've got someone with really super thin, fragile skin that's really reactive. You know, we're talking the thinnest skin, some of the thinnest, most reactive skin on the body, those eyelids, then, then you can get some swelling and some puffiness that, that is not, uh, abnormal, but, um, but no, it, 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 it's a great procedure. And, and, and if you learn it correctly, then I think you'd end up loving it. And I think you'd be really good at it, Moses. Man, I'm telling you that wing though. I can't stand the wing. When we want a wing, it ain't easy getting those wings even. Oh well, no, it ain't. No, nothing, nothing, nothing that beautiful is supposed to be. Nothing's easy. But wings, and I, you know, I, I do a ton of wings, right? And and when I was a younger artist, before I knew better, you know, I was using black carbon. I was putting wings on anybody, anybody that wanted them. I'm in Vegas, so we have you know a big diverse uh, clientele here. So I did a lot of wings, but. You know, 10 years into doing eyeliners, I learned, okay, let's not do the wings in black carbon, right? I don't want wings to last forever. I want the wings yeah. to fade out. I've learned um, that maybe about 60, 70% of the clients that request wings can't have them. 
They don't have the eyelids for them. Mm. Uh, so they got hooded eyes, right? They got hooded eyes. Yeah, they, they just they just don't have the real estate for them. So so you know if if you follow all the rules and the guidelines, then you can do wings super sharp, super beautiful on on the right person. Um, you know that has a certain vibe, certain look to them. Not everybody would that even requests wings and probably has the real estate <laughs> even has like the vibe for a wing. I think it's a certain look. Um, but no, wing, wings are great, but you got to be careful with the wings, just like everything else. You know, there's a lot that can go wrong with eyeliner, but there's a lot that can go wrong with eyebrows. There's a lot that can go wrong with lips. It's just learning each area, I think. Yeah, you, you got your whole little rhythm and technique down, so. Yeah, yeah. It takes me like 40 minutes, 45 minutes to do a top and bottom eyeliner. Boom. Really? Yeah. Man, that's good. Yeah. That yeah. was another thing I had a problem with. I was like, man, this shouldn't take me freaking an hour and a half to do this. No, you no, because you're talking like a little spot like that much, right? <laughs> and yeah, you, I you, I, you I can do a tattoo like that, that big in an, in, a, in an hour and a half, but it takes you like two hours to do a little line like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know. But like I said, it's just, it's just learning how to work on an eyeliner and work efficiently. So if you're working efficiently, then you can get a top and bottom done in an hour or less, man. 45 minutes, you know, when you're working quick and efficiently. So, yeah. No, I love eyeliners. I think it's my favorite procedure. But it's the procedure that makes me the most nervous. But I love it. Yeah. 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 Maybe you like that. You like being under, like, I do. high risk. I do. Yeah, yeah I kind of like that pressure on me a little bit.